Attention shrooms, so you want to know what the most effective lures for brim are on the market today out of the million and one available. I'm going to be going through my top five for 2021 coming right up. And let's kick off the list with the first lure in the five. We've got the Z-Man Slim Swims in 2.5 inch in bloodworm or motor oil color. So this plastic has caught me my PV brim at 47.5 centimeters in the winter of 2020. So what makes it so good? It's the most natural presentation. You've got a little fish shape with a tea towel beading. It's really stretchy. It's really chewy. It's got, a, it's got an action bigger than the plastic itself, but a little bit trickier to rig up technique to get the best out of the Z-Man Slim Swims. I like to do a double twitch or a lot of or a series of many many twitches but every twitch being only a couple of inches to keep that plastic towards the lower third of the water column. Best season to use these lures? All four seasons from summer through to winter. Best time to throw these lures? All times of the day. Best jig head to use? 1 16th ounce through to 1 8th ounce on a size two or size one hook. One tip with the Z-Man Slim Swims to get a little bit more action, or if that tail isn't beating as quickly as you would like, give that tail a little bit of a stretch and she'll be good. Before I go on, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up in support. It'll really help me out. On to number four. Next lure on this list, is the Berkley Protec Surface Bender 76mm. So what makes this lure so good? This I have found to be the simplest lure to catch brim on surface with. So what is the Bender 76? It's a surface presentation, it sits on top of the water and when you move the lure it dives a little bit under and it quickly floats back up. So 90% of the time this lure is worked on the surface with the occasional twitch causing it to dive or shoot out of the surface of the water. This is the easiest surface lure to use that I have found. All it requires is a simple twitch. A downward dab of the rod tip and it goes under. Oftentimes surface lures require a constant retrieve with a walk the dog action which is just very difficult for someone getting into this. But this lure, you don't even need to do that. You just gotta give it a single dab, a single twitch every second or couple of seconds, and it's doing enough to catch your fish. If you guys wanna see more about it, I'll put up a link up here and you can check out what happened when I use this lure. Best time to throw this lure, mid spring through to mid autumn is the perfect time. The warmer the weather, the more effective it gets. Time of day also matters. This lure works extremely well first thing in the morning from first light through to when the wind starts to pick up. One additional tip that I have with this lure, don't discount throwing this lure hard up against the side that you're on if you're land based because a fish will still hit it in centimeters of water if it looks right. And now we're up to the halfway point in the list. Number three, it'll have to be the Atomic Hards 38mm Deep Diver. My favorite color is the Ghost Skill Brown or the Muddy Prawn color. It's accounted for plenty of brim for me and what makes it so good is that it just works. You can simply just do a slow wind of the lure, referred to as a slow roll. I've got a series of videos demonstrating how this lure works if you want to go check that out. So what are the pros of this lure? Again, ease of use. Slow winding does the job. It's got a really strong action. It dives very deep, but it floats up and it's just at that right size that brim just find irresistible. And it's one of the best reaction bite lures that I've found. Fish just have a go at it the first time they see it. So when do you use this lure? Best seasons, the warmer months. From about mid spring all the way through to the start or the middle of autumn is the perfect time to be throwing this bait. Depths. It's most suited for about a half a meter to two and a half meters in depth. And best technique is actually the most simplest technique. Wind constantly at a pace where you can feel the vibrations coming through the rod tip and you're in business. And one additional tip that I like to add with this lure, if you want to get that little bit extra out of this, 
throw on the occasional pause for about half a second before you continue to wind. Sometimes that's just enough to get a trailing fish to bite. On to recommendation number two now. My choice is the Squidgy Wriggler 45mm in Bloodworm or Red Rum Color. This lure has been around from the very beginning, now available in the Biotuff range. It was a lure that I started catching brim consistently with back in the day. So what makes it so effective? It is tiny, it is a small lure, but at the same time you can still fit that 1 16th ounce size 2 jig head on. It's got a nice thin little tail that has a rapid vibration and it just looks like the perfect bait fish imitation. As I said, I was using these lures before they were available in the Biotuff range and they were great. Now they're made of this really durable material. It's still on my list. I gotta say it's a long term performer for me. So best time to throw this lure when the going gets tough. I like to downsize the lure and move to a lure type that has a little bit less frantic action. And this lure fits the bill perfectly. Seasons and time of day, every single season and all throughout the day and night. Working depths from about half a meter to about two and a half meters is the perfect depth. Best jig head weights to use are 132 ounce all the way through to about a 1 8 ounce if you're working really deep water with a size 2 or a size 4 hook. So one additional tip that I have with this lure, at times you'll find me rigging this lure upside down. I find that it works rigged upright and upside down just as effective. And finally, to the last one. Let's have a quick drum roll. Coming in at number one is the Z-Man Grubs in 2.5 inch size in one of three colors. Watermelon Red, Motor Oil, and Bloodworm. These lures are a grub style pattern and they're the easiest lures to use. You can work them fast, you can work them slow. Number two, durability. Z-Mans make the most durable plastics on the market today. So one plastic goes a long, long way before you need to change it up. And next, the shape and size of these plastics is absolutely perfect to target the legal size brim. So short and stubby and just enough there in the body so that a fish is very likely to consider that worth its effort to chase down that prey. Here are my recommended techniques to get the most out of these lures. Slow lift, double hop, and multiple little twitches. So the D-Man grubs work best with a 1 16th ounce through to, the one eight, through to a 1 8 ounce jig head on a size 2 hook. Best time to use this lure, all four seasons these lures are effective, time of day, all throughout the day and night. Appropriate places to throw the Z-Man Grub, you can throw them in really shallow water from about half a meter all the way through to about three meters, you'll find they are most effective. That really thick tail gives it a really nice and slow sink rate so you can work it all the way through to that really shallow water as well. And one additional tip that I may add in using these particular plastics, you can put a little dab of super glue on the end of the jig head to keep that plastic snug up against the hook so that it won't slide down after every hit. It's one little trick that I use occasionally if I'm getting a lot of hits. That's it from me, that's my top five list. Did you agree with it? Write your suggestions down in the comment section down below. Write down your top five. If you want to see any more of these videos, make sure to write down suggestions. Maybe a top five lures for Flathead, for example. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out, and I'll catch you soon.